Greetings, unsettled souls. Welcome to the correct news. You know what time it is. Hi, friends. It's the Dundee of the day. Uh, the dust cap of the month gets mailed once a month. I've mentioned it before, but I've got new people here from Opera News. All right, once a day we do the dummy of the day, we mail out the dunce cap along with a certificate that happens once a month. I actually just mailed the hat out today. If you want to donate help for that kind of thing, you can do so at the correct views at hotmail.com. Uh, now that the show is uh, on Opera News, I am looking to get a better camera soon. All kinds of things actually are in the works. So those of you, a lot of you don't know. You just don't know how close you came. I, I was mere days from stopping even posting. Too many things had changed in too many ways and then the reach of the show itself was eliminated. And this is something which uh, <clears throat> the Opera News did not even know. And then they had contacted me and now things are going in the right direction once again. So please make sure you are you're finding me on Opera News if you're not already. <clears throat> Don't deal today. Wear masks while drinking outside. Oh, that sounds like a great idea. <laughs> so you will no longer be able to remove your mask to drink a cocktail at a pop-up bar garden on the footpath as part of the pub crawl, says Daniel Andrews. Now, while all things are possible, and there's exceptions to any generalization which someone could realistically make, Coronaviruses of this nature don't genuinely, genuinely, generally, I should say, pass that way. I remember that the big hubbub they made about whether or not the, the virus could last on surfaces. And then later on, it was Dr. Grouchy himself that came out and said otherwise. Well, we can't mail dunce caps to, well, we can, I guess, but it's very expensive to mail a dunce cap to Australia. So I made it the dumb deed of the day, and literally it's so stupid that you're going to think I'm reading it from the Babylon Bee or from the Onion. No, this is real. Victoria Labor Party Premier Daniel Andrews, a, a, an obvious genius, and I might I add, uh, uh, she should be a mixologist with his, his brilliant analogy here. Daniel Andrews uh, made the remark in Melbourne on Monday during a press conference announcing that the lockdowns would be extended for two weeks and curfews imposed. There will be no removal of masks to consume alcohol outdoors, he asserted. Yeah, and it's filtered through, I guess. So you will no longer be able to remove your mask to drink a cocktail at the pop-up beer garden on the footpath as part of the pub crawl. His contemptuous megalomaniacal remarks, megalomaniacal remarks, comma, as Australia saw seven deaths on Monday from Oogly Boogly, with two, 22 cases in the state of Victoria in all. And they ask, when will our Australians rise up and resist this over-the-top clown, clown world tyranny? Now, I'm assuming that you don't really believe that the story is true, because you don't believe anybody could possibly be that stupid. You're probably using the thinking part of your brain, and you have to understand that you need to you need to shut a bit of that down if you're going to understand people like this. There will be no removal Oops. of masks to consume alcohol outdoors. So you will no longer be able to remove your mask to drink a cocktail uh, at a pop-up beer garden on a footpath uh, as part of a pub crawl. There will be no. So, you, what you do, and I wish I had Christelle here because she'd be able to give me something to drink and I could show this. Here. You could wear a mask, in theory, and you could just pour it straight through the mask. Now, I know that if you do this with hot liquids, uh, that is actually the way Taliban tortures people. They, they would put a, 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 a rag on someone's face and then pour boiling water over the rag while it's on their face. 
you could probably do this with like a flaming Dr. Pepper or something as well. And that, that would be a really challenge. Like, I'd like to ask him, uh, I'd like to ask this man, how exactly do you drink a flaming Dr. Pepper? I mean, it looks to me now that the pub crawl is going to have to have a fire safety ambulatory crew here to handle this. Also, I, I'd love to know, uh, milkshakes would be really interesting. Maybe if you could sort of, you might be able to pour it on top of the mask and hold it in. It's the dumb D of the day, friends. Good night. God.